All right, Grace, uh, busy summer ahead for you. Tell me about your plans. Yeah, so um, next week um, I'm going to over England in 23s on a training camp slash tournament. Um, that's from thir that's for six days. Uh, we've got obviously training quite a lot during that. We've also got two games, one against Sweden, one against Norway. So it's a great opportunity not only just to train and to be around the squad, but also to test ourselves against that like, international position. Um, following from that, literally the day after, I'm off to Russia to play in the World Uni Games. Um, that is the, the second largest multi-sport event in the Olympics, and it's where pretty much every student who plays sport goes and competes for that we're representing Great Britain which obviously is another another great opportunity and an honour for me obviously to represent my country so pretty busy summer um, but obviously playing football I can't really complain. Yeah you've been to the World University Games before yeah. uh, in 2009 what, what do you think you can expect this year in Russia? Um, like obviously in 2009 it's in Serbia, not not a country you'd normally visit. Um, not only was it a great opportunity to see a new country, to experience a new culture, to be around all those athletes in the athletes village, it is literally like an Olympics. And so I'm expecting obviously great things from Russia. Um, from the videos I've seen and the, the photos, it's, the facilities are looking pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm expecting good things, not only just in terms of the experience, but in terms of the quality of the sport. Um, I think we've got a really good team this year, so expecting like really good competition, um, high quality, and I think it'll be a great test for us. Yeah, the teams in your group, you've played against them all before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, so we've got Estonia, Japan, and Brazil. Um, three teams that we faced in 2009. We beat Estonia, beat, well, I lost to Brazil on penalties, and beat Japan. Um, Japan and Brazil, as you can imagine, they, they play like their, their senior women's team do. Uh, very quick, very skilled, um, and I'm expecting the same from them. A lot of countries use the uh, World Junior Games as a chance to like send their youth teams, because most of them are students. So um, I'm expecting like very, very high quality in terms of teams, and it would be a really good test for us as a group of girls, really. Yep, so you finished third yeah. two, two games ago when you were last involved, so you're confident you can have a go a going all the way this year? Yeah, yeah, so in 2009 we got the bronze medal, which I think we were gutted not to reach the final, particularly losing on penalties, but um, I think the quality of score we got, every player, well, the majority of the score are all youth internationals, so um, I think going, we are going to win. Um, there's no denying that we're hard, but I think we've, we've got a really good chance to succeed this year. Yeah, how are things going with Bristol Academy? Because you're in mid-season break at the moment, you've had the FA Cup final yeah. and you're at top of the league, aren't you, at the moment? Yeah, I think when you... If you came to us four months ago and said, this season some break, you'll be top of the table, well, one goal difference, just second, but still to join top on points, FA Cup final, I think we would have taken that, and I think for us, we've exceeded more than we thought we would, but we've put ourselves in a great position going in the second half of the season. Um, obviously, the World Junior Games falls in a perfect timing, mid-season breaks, so it's quite nice, but uh, as a team, we're doing well this year, and I think if we can continue our form, we've got a good chance of finishing in the top two, which is our aim to get into the Champions League next year. Yeah. Brilliant. Enjoy Russia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.